In this video, we are going to see how we can use GitHub Copilot prompt file in Visual Studio Code. I already created another video about how to use prompt file in Visual Studio. So if you are using Visual Studio as well, you can check that video. So here I'm going to put one prompt file for my open source project, dtester. So if you want to know what is this project about, it is I'm trying to write a kind of a nugget package to test how deterministic AI it is. So usually my goal is just trying to uh, create some uh, tests for the LLM, any LLM you are using, OpenAI, or any other um, LLM you are using. Uh, it is good if you want to check it out. Here for the Visual Studio, the way that we are going to add the prompt file if you click on this configure chat, then there is an option called uh, prompt file. So currently we don't have any prompt file in for this project, right? If you uh, just select new prompt file, it is suggesting to put that GitHub folder prompt. Usually the default path for the prompt file is GitHub and uh, prompt. So I, if I click here, then it is asking to put a name. I put, because I'm gonna put a, uh, a prompt file for a code review, the convention name should be like that. So you put the name code review, and then it should end with dot prompt dot MD. So this is the convention that you need to follow when you're uh, creating the prompt file. So if I put enter, it is creating a file under my GitHub uh, and then under prompt folder. So here, <clears throat> the one thing that you need to put is just what kind of mode you're going to use for the agent. So I already um, have one uh, written prompt in my uh, clipboard. So if I put it here and uh, it will just probably I can also remove this code as well. So you're just saying the mode should be agent and then the kind of a description, right? And you need to also add checklist for the copilot. What kind of areas you need to, uh, you're telling copilot, check my code quality and readability, check the documentation, all of these stuff, consistency, security performance, CI, CD, and then at the end, we are asking to put some kind of uh, the final review, how good it is my code. So for example, uh, we are saying put great, good, and not good overall review of the my code, all right? So if I save this file, here the way that we can use this already created prompt file, in the, the chat, uh, right side, you can see if I put just slash, there is uh, options coming up. And then if I review, uh, if I search for the, the file name I put, it was code review, right? So you can see this is the, uh, the code review, uh, the prompt I already added. If I select this one, then we can just put a simple, um, simple prompt here, do a code review, right? Then it goes and checking uh, all of my um, code and code base and do a real good one, a uh, real good code review for us. So um, here, as you can see, try to read all of the files in my projects, different uh, files, um, and let's see how uh, it generates the, the code review for us. Okay, as you can see, it tries to just run, build the project, and uh, allowing, yeah, let's just build the project as well. All right. The way that this Sonnet plot Sonnet is working is really nice. It tried to build a project, running tests, all this stuff. So as you can see, 
the, the result of code review is coming up. Based on those checklists we put, it tries to just check all of those areas. And uh, at the end, let's see how uh, our code rate it is. Yeah, so the, the final one is great. Code is robust, clean, and meets all the standards. Based on whatever we put here in our, um, in our POM file, for example, let me close this one. So for example, we put code quality and readability and asking some questions. So also, if you want to put some uh, prom file, try to do like this. You need to structure your prom file, and then the the copilot it try to answer those questions. For example, here code quality and readability. Here you can see this. We are saying is the code well structured and easy to understand, and then add, uh, um, answer that question well structured and easy to understand. Right, and then there was some kind of warning here. For example, the security and uh, performance. There is minor uh, concern here. What we ask for the security, so saying, are resource intensive operation handled and justified? Saying API key in the factory mode could benefit from the additional security document documentation and other stuff. So it is really good that the copilot understand the structure we defined here. And then answering all of those uh, questions, and at the end, it puts a rate for our uh, code quality, right? So this is the way that we can put all of the the prom file. Just a quick recap under dot GitHub folder, another one prompts, and then put all of the prompts with the convention name, the file name dot prompts dot md. And the way that we're gonna use it is just like slash put your um the file name the prompt file and then start using it thank you very much bye